Hello, everyone. I am here at CES and Lexar invited me to come check out their new offerings. And for those of you that have followed my coverage for a while, you know I will never pass up an opportunity to see new PC components. So I said, yes, please. Um, and here we are. Now, Lexar does so much more than just PC components. But before I delve into the latest and greatest that Lexar has to offer, I want to say a huge shout out and thank you to Lexar for sponsoring this video and partnering with me for this CES. So if you're unfamiliar with Lexar as a brand, they've mostly been known over the years as a photography and videography, very well-respected storage brand. So they do cards for photo, for video. Everybody loves them. They've done that for over 25 years. But in the past few years, specifically, Lexar has branched out to PC components and portable SSDs as well. And that's where I raise an eyebrow. But let's go ahead and start off with some of the new offerings in what Lexar does best. The Professional CF Express 4.0 Type B Card Diamond Series, which I have just here. I promise I'm allowed to take that off the wall. They're not going to yell at me. This is up to 3,600 megabyte per second read, 3,300 write. And, and you know what? I'm just going to bring out its buddy right here. The Professional CF Express 4.0 Type A card gold series as well. Now, this is up to 1800 megabyte per second read, 1650 write. Now, both of these cards will offer next gen performance so much so that no camera could even support these speeds yet. But you can transfer at these speeds until those next gen cameras come out and know that you'll be set for a while. Now, both these cards are scheduled right now for a May slash June launch. And before we go any further, I wanna tell you something really fun that I just learned today. There's a little badge here on the center of the card that kind of looks like a uh, filming slate, right? Like if you're talking about the movies, it's the VPG 400 badge. And it takes lots of testing to get that badge. And it means that you can record 8K raw video, hence the movie filming slate. There it is. So for those of you that are photographers, videographers, you're looking to make professional quality content, you definitely want to check these two cards out when they drop in May and June. Next up, we're going to delve into the PC world because you know that's my favorite. The Professional NM1090 M.2 PCIe Gen 5 NVMe SSD with heatsink is just behind me. So pardon me as I... There it is. This is a blazing fast PCIe 5.0 uh, storage device M.2. So those 5.0 speeds are up to 12,000 megabyte per second read and 11,000 write, almost two times faster than PCIe 4.02. Now you'll notice the heat sink on this is a little unusual. It actually has a powerful RGB fan right here in the center. Now, I was looking around here for a motherboard to plug this into so that I could show you that RGB fan, but alas, I would have to go to a different booth to find a motherboard today. But trust me, having a heat sink with a little RGB fan on it is really cool and not something I've really seen before. Now, this is compatible with Intel 13th and 14th generation, as well as AMD 7000 series CPUs. And I'm gonna go back now. Stepping away from the wall for a moment to discuss the professional NM800 Pro M.2 2280 NVMe SSD, both with and without the heatsink. Now, these are PCIe Gen 4x4 interface, so 7,500 megabyte per second read and 6,500 write. And if you go with the version that has the heatsink, you'll see up to 30% reduced temperatures. Um, so this is the version that's currently in my PS5. So if you're wondering, Trisha, are these compatible with the PS5? I can, for a fact, say that the heatsink version is. If you go with the one without the heatsink, know that you will need to get a heatsink at some point on your own. That's a Sony requirement. Both of these use a 12 nanometer controller for longer battery life and lower power consumption. Neat. Now, this next one I was really excited to see in person. The Play M.2 2230 PCIe 4.0 SSD. Look how tiny it is. So this is specifically a small form factor for PC gaming handhelds. For those of you that are fans of the Steam Deck, the Asus ROG Ally, this is the one you want to pay attention to. Also, there's certain gaming laptops out there that support M.2 2230. So this might be great for you as well. It's lower power consumption. It's offered in capacities up to one terabyte, and it's specially designed to accelerate game loading 
download speeds and reduce wait times. So again, for gaming on the go, whether it's a gaming laptop that supports M.2 2230 or a gaming handheld, this is the expandable storage you wanna look at. Now that we've talked about the internal storage solutions, let's check out some portable SSDs, shall we? Just over here, we've got the Armor 700 portable SSD from Lexar. Now the Armor 700, you may have guessed from the name, is incredibly durable and that's what it's known for. In addition, it has an ingress protection rating of IP66. You can record 6K raw video if recording directly to the SSD. And again, it's known for its durability. I'm not gonna do a drop test here at CES because I think this is the only one in the room and I wanna save it for everybody else. Looking very similar from the front, but not at all from the side is the SL500 portable SSD, which is so thin, it's almost like a credit card. You could just pop it in your purse or wallet and you'd be good to go. So really what this is perfect for, I'm looking at you, my iFriends with the iPhone 15 Pro Max that are recording video directly to an external SSD. Something this thing could go right on the back of that phone, record to it, and you would be all set. So that is the Lexar SL500 portable SSD. Moving on from storage to memory, so let's go ahead and walk over here and get back inside the PC. I was really excited to check out the Ares RGB DDR5 desktop memory. Now, there's a whole new design with DDR5. You can see the different aesthetics here, um, and it's up to 8,400 mega transfers per second and uh, 48 gigabyte capacity, so you can get two times 24 gigabytes or there's also availability for 32 gigabytes and two 16 gigabyte sticks, depending which version you go for. Um, but this specifically that I have in my hands has a 1.8 millimeter thick aluminum heat sink to make sure that you're getting the most performance possible out of this RAM. And uh, yeah, it's got programmable RGB as well for those of you that need to make sure that your aesthetic matches the rest of your room. But I'm always excited to check out DDR5 memory. If you have a compatible build, definitely make sure that you check this out because 8,400 mega transfers per second, whoo, I'm blown away. And that's that. Thank you so much, Lexar, for inviting me here to take a look at some of the newest technology you're unveiling during CES. Folks, if you're interested in CES coverage, I've got a lot of shorts here on YouTube. I've got a lot on the other socials as well, so make sure you check all the places and have a happy CES. Let me know what you're most excited about in the comments below and I'll see you soon.